Hey everyone, it is Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. I am back again. It is now officially the weekend, but before I get out of here, I have got so much stuff that came in today that I wanted to be sure and share with you so that if you see something you like, you can make plans to stop by this weekend and pick it up. First thing I wanted to show you is the craft consortium paper pad for its snow time if you saw our video last week we got in the stamps that go with this paper pad and this week we were able to get the paper in this is great it is 12 by 12 paper it is super high quality you get 40 sheets if you work out the pricing that is like 70 some cents a sheet it is really great you also have these images on both the inside and uh, front and back covers that you can cut out and use if you want so many cute things in here here we have kind of some cut apart sheets and there's the back of it all of the mushrooms you get four sheets of each pattern and they are all double-sided so uh, you don't have to feel bad about using it some of them this actually has um, some embossing on it I don't know if you can kind of see the shine there I right now with well, a term for that kind of evades me and actually this paper is a little bit shimmery so some of these are actually specialty papers which are usually even more expensive so this really is a really really good bargain these pads do tend to go quickly we uh, sold out of the over the hedge pad from craft consortium last weekend and I'm trying to get more back in but sometimes because they are um, come from Europe they can take a while to get them back in again so if there's something that you like I encourage you not to wait and go ahead and snatch it up this paper here also you can see is a little bit shimmery with the red and green print on the other side so anyhow we did get that paper pad in something that we got back in stock is this cross stitch oval die from uniquely creative this one is really nice you get three dies but each die cuts out an oval with with stitching and cross stitching on the outside and then on the outside of the oval it does the cross stitching as well so cut once and you have two things you can use here's an example of the cross stitching on the outside of an oval we've used it to frame that card all right we got a lot of new paper in some great papers for winter and the holidays um, these would be great for Christmas but they're also good for things other than Christmas if you don't want to do really Christmassy there's some great winter papers in here we got some six by six paper pads in the first one we got in from Echo Park is called warm and cozy there's a lot of things in here that would be good for a little bit more masculine cards we also got in from Cartabella the snow much fun six by six paper pad and I'll show you in a minute we have some of those papers in the 12 by 12 and then also from Echo Park we got in the my favorite winter and we have a lot of 12 by 12s from this one as well as the six by six so from the Cartabella snow much fun here is what we got in in the 12 by 12 here are the 3 by 4 cut apart sheets these are really great to make really fast and easy cards and a nice plaid on the back I love this one it is the snow globes all kinds of different scenes inside of those snow globes and some fun snowflakes on the back of it this one here has the mittens and this pine branch print on the back is really nice very subtle here is a light snowflake print and kind of a dark sky with snowflakes so that would be, make a great background for all kinds of things and finally these cute little snowmen and some more snowflakes on the back as I mentioned we also got in a lot of the 12 by 12 paper from the Echo Park my favorite winter this is a really cute line lots of things to do with that here is the cut apart sheet and that fun print on the back here is a little bit different pine branch print with the nice red berries in there and this is really subtle tone on tone snowflake print I think you can see that there here is a large scale floral print and this is kind of a wood grain but it's different or a shiplap it's the red tones here is the large four by six cut apart sheet 
And some snowflakes on the back of there. Here's a little bit more colorful snowflakes. And here we have a fun kind of uh, playful snowfall print. Love these little penguins. They're out doing some ice fishing and caroling on kind of a shiplap background. And a really fun print on the back of there. Here are some 4x4 cut aparts and a plaid on the back of that. Here we have some more adorable little snowmen out playing in the snow. And this is fun. It's a brown uh, snowflake print on a shiplap background. Here's another tone on tone and some more florals. Another all over page. This one has kind of a, almost a basket weave or kind of look on the back. And finally, this uh, dark background, snowflakes, and another shiplap background. So, lots of fun new papers. All right, not finished yet. Have some more things to show you. First of all, we got in some more acrylic blocks. Um, probably everybody that uses clear or cling stamps probably has a few of the larger ones, but it's sometimes it's nice to have the smaller ones. It's actually uh, best to match your stamp to your block as close as possible. It's hard to do a really tiny stamp on a big block, and so this set has a number of different sizes, five different blocks. You can see here the different sizes in it. So many of the sets that we love now have smaller stamps in them, and these are great for it. And this one is another one as well. This one has even some more smaller ones in it. This one is from Art Impressions. This is a great set if you're using any of their watercolor stamps because, of course, they have some really teeny tiny stamps in there. And so this small set is great. Also, uh, if you're good for using with the Art Impressions or really anything else, if you need to do any masking when you're stamping, this uh, stamping mask paper from Inka Dinka Do is really nice. You get, I believe, 12 sheets in here, and it's just a low-tack masking adhesive, so you can use it to mask off any area that you want to protect while you're stamping. All right, finally we get to some new things from a company called Studio Light. They are based in the Netherlands, and we have carried some of their products before, and they had a lot of really great new things. We have kind of a variety. First, we have some things that are great for all you mixed media types. Uh, a new stamp set which is called grunge and this is a clear set and you can just see it has all different kinds of elements on here that are great for adding to your backgrounds we also have some new stencils um, and these don't really have names they just number theirs but they are really unique I like it because you can see you get this split ring here they have a hole in the top so you can uh, clip them all together so that you keep them all together. These are A6 size, so you can see they're not really, really big. Um, oh, actually, that was that one. Here is another one. All these fun kind of circles, elements in the background. This is another one. And finally, this one that is floral. So those are really fun new stencils. We have still from Studio Light this great die set. This is a layered snow globe die, and you can see you get the round snow globe with the trees, you get a base, and then you have two other pieces that if you want to layer them in together, you can. You would not have to use them all, but you certainly can if you want to. And up there you can see the scene that you get if you layer all those layers together. And it's a good price, $9 for that entire die set. We also have some, a number of uh, stamp and die sets. They are clear stamps that have the dies included with them. They're all kind of related to winter and Christmas. This one is really fun. That little girl is so cute, kind of like a Pippi Longstocking girl. And look at that wiener dog on there, so cute. Here we've got a little kitty cat peeking out of the present. And you can see you have dies up here. It looks like there's a die for the girl and for maybe the sentiment and the the box with the cat in it and maybe the bow there. Here is another one that you have the little winter friends out for a walk, the little bears going for a walk. We also have a hedgehog and a tree and this cute little bird and once again you get some uh, dyes included with that. This one would be great for making a cute little winter village, a couple of houses and some pine trees and a sentiment to go with it. 
and again the die set. And finally, for all of you dog lovers, this one I guess actually is not holiday, but I couldn't pass it up. It was so cute, and there's even a kitty cat on here. We've got some little dogs and paw prints and dies once again. All right, last we have some silhouette stamps that also have matching dies with them. I love this Christmas tree. It has a very Dr. Seuss feel to it. And you can see that there is also a die. And I think you could use the stamp and the die together, or you could use either one of them alone in this case. We also have some elves. This little elf with the candy cane is really cute. And here we have an elf climbing the ladder, maybe to hang an ornament or the star on top of the Christmas tree. And finally, we have the little elf with the stack of presents. Some of you may think this looks awfully familiar, and it uh, is very similar to the uh, die that Tim came out with this year. And my guess is that this is either royalty-free artwork or it's something that has been licensed to multiple companies. It obviously is on a much smaller scale and is not identical to it, but it is very close to it. All right, that is it for right now. So much fun stuff in here. I hope if you are in town and have some free time, you'll stop by and see us this weekend. We have a really great birthday make and take for you, and it should be lots of fun. Have a great weekend, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.